Hello everybody, and now you have not only the inspiring air of Lisbon, but also the beautiful sound of the Portuguese language. So I invite you to use your devices, because I will speak in Portuguese. <laughs> Welcome to Lisbon. This city is the capital of a country that is known for giving really new light to the world. Today, this is not what we're here to handle. We're here today to provide new policies and to create new ones so that, of course, we can reflect the times in which we are living. And we want to create a representative democracy and a project of peace and tolerance that constitutes the European Union. The challenge that is placed before us is not simple. Populists, capitalists, capitalize on uncertainties and they promise obviously to dissipate fears. We must confront fear in the face. The time has come for us to introduce solutions so that people may be once again happy to live. We cannot be afraid to mention certain words. We cannot be afraid to speak of happiness. Happiness is the absent, absence of fear. Happiness is the absence of physical fear that results from insecurity. The absence of psychological fear that results from non-inclusion in a healthy community. Happiness is the absence of failure in projects, for instance, that are absolutely pivotal. Therefore, dear friends, this is the path we need to recover trust, hope, the joy of living, the definition of life itself. This is the path that we must walk to recover the hope using all democratic means. We cannot promise what we cannot ensure, but we must mobilize people so that with them, things begin to happen, to provide people a decent lifestyle, to have a multi-plural society and a favorable context for each individual so that they may be able to realize their own dreams. Hope instead of fear. This is the invoice that we should be passing in the name of obviously all Popu not only of all socialists, but in order to have a motor for change, it must be associated to hope. There must be a strong feeling and a positive one. It is in this manner that the experience of a progressive governance can inspire us all towards this equation. If I had to summarize in two words the great work that the Prime Minister and Donio Cacosta has carried out, the great work of the Portuguese that have demonstrated that there is a progressive alternative, it would be two words. It, will, it would be the sum between confidence and hope. The Portuguese experience has told us that to have a strong vision, it is fundamental, but it's not enough. We need people's support. We need society to adhere to our ideas. And we must transform this into specific ideas since the very first day. Many times people ask me, what is your secret? Our secret is that we are competent, we are committed, we have strong ideas, and we have a long experience. And our specific secret is that we have joined not only a vision, but day after day, we have been able to reinforce change and positive transformation. The plans, the narratives are fundamental, but every day they must be reinforced 
reinforced so that we can change the citizen, the days of citizens. This is the secret of governance in Portugal. This is the secret that we must make happen in all of the European Union. First of all, we must obviously push back the anti-Europeans. Thank you. I will repeat because it's very important. We cannot confuse this issue. In the next elections that in Portugal will be on the 26th of May, there are two fights that are fundamental. There are two fights that we cannot confuse, but they are complementary. The first fight is the fight in the name of survival of the European project with all of its values of freedom, freedom of expression and gender equality. And the second fight is to clearly demonstrate that within those that are defending Europe, there is an alternative. There is a neoliberal project, there is a progressive project that is an alternative and that we want to include and put into practice with Mr. Franz Timmerman, with the European Parliament and with everyone's participation. Many have said, and with this I will conclude my opening remarks, that in the European elections in countries like Portugal, where there is a national list, there is no useful vote. Let me tell you, dear friends, and I would like to tell you this with my experience of four and a half years of a Euro being a European parliamentary member. I think clearly that there will be votes that are channeled to socialists in all of Europe and that there are votes that will be channeled equally to the Socialist Party in Portugal. And why? Because it is the useful vote that will save the European project. It is this type of vote that we need to eradicate what is radical and to win against social democrats in Portugal. And it is this vote that will finally free Europe from those that are unsensitive. And if we want a progressive voice, we need to vote in the Socialist Party in Portugal. And finally, it is a vote that will allow us to continue to follow the sustainable project of change, of something that is just that we're trying to carry out in our country. My dear friends, thank goodness for the Socialist Party. Thank goodness for the European Union and thank goodness for Portugal.